I can't believe it! This is the greatest ship I've ever seen! Hey, you! Bring girl! Pump this! Don't pass out! Oh. Sorry, sorry. I'm good at exploring strange new worlds and solving space mysteries. Let's see what I got assigned. Holodeck waste removal. That's Klingon prison stuff. Oh. 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 Talk to me a little bit about your character. This is animation. So is yes. this something, is animation something new for you? And how do you like animation? <laughs> no. No, I've been doing voices for animated series for more than 30 years now. Do you like animation more than you do in front of camera? Which one do you like more? I really don't have a preference. Um, I'm really grateful that I get to do it all, yeah. to be honest with you. Captain Carol Freeman is the captain of the USS Cerritos, one of the ships in the Star Trek world of the... Um, of the Federation. And some people would say that it's not a very important ship, but Captain Freeman begs to differ. No. In the tradition of most Starfleet captains, uh, she takes her job very, very seriously. Uh, but as the series goes on, you learn that she's got a real mischievous side. I think my favorite part of her personality is that you think she's one thing, and then you get to see little, you know, little lights and, and, and glimpses that she's so much more than what you expected. And the writer said that this was like a love, more of a love story than kind of yes. um, the world. And I know that's kind of been disputed by hard fans. So yes. So what are some things that you would say that would make those hard fans feel a little bit softer about the series? It's a cartoon. Relax. <laughs> <laughs> laugh a little bit you know what I mean right and understand this is this is a lighter side of maybe what you've been accustomed to seeing so embrace it let's let's go with it and it'll be all right the way that it's animated the things that are included in the show from the devices we use to the uniforms we wear I think are very true to the world of Star Trek. What is something that you look forward to for everyone seeing within the series, like later on? What's something that you were really excited about? Well, without, without giving too much yeah, away. Yeah, without giving too much. <laughs> without giving too much away, uh, little by little, you find everybody being willing to see, to be accepting of who they are mm -hmm. and where they fit in the scheme of everybody else's nooks and cracks. Hopefully people get the message that it really is okay to be okay with yeah. who you are and yeah. with yourself. The one thing I want to say is life is beautiful. Life is challenging, but it's in our hands to make the most of it and to make a difference. So whoever you choose to vote for, please vote. Oh, yes. This is the year. This, yeah. this is the year, one way or another. If you're cool with everything the way it's been for the last few years, then so, so be it. You're gonna vote how you're gonna vote. But if you're ready for a change, if you're ready for something to be better, to be, to be different, uh, if you need a different result, you know where we've been, the question is, where do you want us to go? Your vote is gonna make that difference and every single vote counts.